Three, two, one. This week is just non-stop. Between homework, soccer, and play rehearsals, my head is spinning. It's like my brain can't take a break. And you know what, Mia? It's not just my thoughts racing. I've been feeling so jittery. My heart's pounding faster than usual. My stomach is in knots, and I can't seem to relax, even when I'm sitting still. It's like my body's on edge, ready to sprint, but there's nowhere to go. You're right, Mia. Oh, let us head to a healthier me with B. She's always got great tips to help our bodies and minds feel fully engaged. It's B here, ready to unpack how we can keep our stress levels in check. As we just witnessed, stress can affect us both mentally and physically. I'm so glad Caroline asked for help when she was feeling overwhelmed. That is always a terrific option when dealing with stress. Everyone feels stressed from time to time and it's totally normal. Whether it's schoolwork piling up, a busy schedule, or just feeling a bit out of sorts, it's important to know how to handle these feelings. Ever wonder what happens in your brain when you're stressed? Your brain has a tiny alarm system called the amygdala. When you're stressed, the amygdala sends out a signal that puts your body on high alert. This is super helpful if you need to dodge a dodgeball, but not so much when you're worrying about a test. This alarm system triggers the release of stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, which prepare your body for action. You might have heard of this as the fight or flight response. While it's a natural reaction, staying in this high alert mode for too long can make us feel anxious or overwhelmed. It can even affect our physical health, making our hearts beat faster and our muscles tense up, sometimes causing headaches or stomach aches. But here's the good news. Just as our brain can send out the stress signal, we can also teach it to send the all clear signal telling our body it's time to relax and recharge. This is where stress-busting strategies come in. It's great to have a go-to activity that helps you and your brain relax. What's an activity you enjoy that helps you relax? For some, it might be creating art or playing music. For others, it could be chatting with a friend or family member you trust. And guess what? Physical activities like dynamic and static stretching can also be a fantastic way to ease your mind and body. Let's try a quick pause and stretch right now. Choose a stretch for either your arms or legs and hold it gently. I'm going to do the cross body shoulder stretch. Breathe in slowly. and out. Feel the tension melt away as you focus on your breath and stretch. Did you notice a change? Even a small break like this can make a big difference. Now let's talk about deep breathing. I know Coach Chloe taught you a little bit about diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing. Deep breathing is a simple yet powerful tool it's something you can do anytime, anywhere, like right here. Let me show you. Breathe in through your nose, letting your belly rise as you slowly count to four. Hold your breath for a moment, then exhale through your mouth, counting to four again. Let's try it together. Three, 
Feeling a bit more relaxed? That's the magic of taking a moment for yourself. Remember, it's important to find what works for you. Maybe it's a hobby, talking it out, stretching, or breathing exercises. Whatever it is, make it a part of your routine. Managing stress isn't just about dealing with it when it comes. It's about building resilience so you're ready for whatever comes your way. Managing stress is a big part of staying healthy and happy. Remember, it's okay to ask for help if you're feeling too stressed. Talk to someone you trust, a family member, a friend, or a coach. You're not alone, and it's okay to reach out. Remember, a little calm goes a long way. Let's head over to Coach Chloe's corner for a stress-busting workout. Coach Chloe. Welcome back to my corner, where today we're diving into a full body workout designed not just to help you strengthen your muscles from head to toe, but to also help you manage stress. B did a great job explaining how we can use stretching to manage stress, but the mental health benefits of movement don't stop there. Rigorous exercise can also help us to deal with stress by triggering the release of endorphins, hormones that help us to relax. In today's session, we will be performing a full body workout that has the added benefit of supporting our mental health. Let's get right into it by making sure we are warmed up. Press pause now and try completing the warm up on screen. You can create your own warm up if you'd prefer. Welcome back. Let's get right into today's workout starting with our first movement, jumping rope. Take time now to go find your jump rope. If you do not have a jump rope, you can simulate the movement by pretending you are holding one, or you can perform lateral hops instead. Press pause now if you need time to go get your jump rope. Let's get started with a review. Start standing on the center of the rope and pull the handles straight up. The handles should reach just under your armpits. Begin with the rope behind you. Swing it over your head and jump just high enough to clear the rope. Land softly on the balls of your feet with knees slightly bent. Start with a slow, steady rhythm. As you become more comfortable, you can increase the speed. The key is to maintain a consistent rhythm and jump height. Watch as I jump rope at a consistent rhythm. If you want to perform this movement but do not have a jump rope, Watch as I simulate the movement and pretend to hold a rope in my hands. And you can always perform lateral hops for this movement if you do not have a jump rope. Whichever choice you choose to perform, get ready to try it with me. Ready, go. Nice work. The next movement we are going to perform is one you have learned from your playbook. Let's talk about a bear crawl. The bear crawl is an effective full body exercise that engages multiple muscle groups, including the shoulders, chest, arms, core, and legs. It enhances core stability, coordination, agility, and increases flexibility and range of motion, particularly in the hips, shoulders, and spine. To get set up for this movement, start on all fours with your wrists lined up under your shoulders and your knees lined up underneath your hips. Engage your core muscles and lift your knees off the ground just a few inches. Your body should now be supported by your hands and the balls of your feet, with your back flat and parallel to the ground. This is your starting position. Start moving forward by advancing your right hand and then your left foot simultaneously. Then your left hand and right foot. Keep the movement small and controlled. Your back should remain flat and your hips should stay level and low throughout the movement. As you crawl, keep your head in a neutral position aligning it with your spine. Avoid lifting your head or dropping your head as you move. Proceed with a slow and controlled pace to maintain stability and ensure proper form. Focus on the coordination of opposite limbs moving together. Take two steps forward, then two steps backward. 
Continue repeating that pattern. Take two steps forward, two steps backward. Now, get ready to try bear crawling with me. Ready, go. Excellent. The last movement in our workout today is tuck jumps. Tuck jumps are a high intensity exercise that increases the heart rate rapidly, promoting cardiovascular health and endurance. A tuck jump is an explosive movement that challenges the heart and lungs, improving aerobic capacity over time. This exercise targets the quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and calf muscles. The action of jumping and tucking the knees toward the chest requires significant strength and power from these muscle groups. To successfully perform a tuck jump, you must engage your core muscles to stabilize your body during the jump and to help you lift your knees toward your chest. This engagement strengthens the abdominal and lower back muscles, enhancing core stability and posture. Start by standing with your feet lined up under your hips. As you prepare to jump, your knees bend as you hinge at your hips allowing your arms to swing behind you. Your arms provide momentum for the jump. As you explode into the air, pull your knees up toward your chest. Keep your back straight and avoid leaning too far forward or backward. As you land, land softly on the balls of your feet with your knees slightly bent to absorb the impact. Watch as I demonstrate two tuck jumps. If tuck jumps are too challenging, or if you're looking for a lower impact alternative, there are modifications you can make to still engage similar muscle groups and maintain the intensity of your workout. Instead of performing tuck jumps, try high knees or marching in place. With both of these movements, aim to pick your knees up as high as you can toward your chest. Now, get ready to try two tuck jumps with me. Ready, go. Excellent. Today's workout is four rounds of 20 single unders. This just means you jump rope 20 times. Six bear crawls. This is taking two steps forward and then two steps backward. And finishing with four tuck jumps. If you are performing lateral hops instead of jumping rope, you will complete 20 lateral hops. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, go.
Wow, jumping rope, bear crawls, and tuck jumps are great full body exercises that not only boost your heart rate, but also challenge every muscle group. From your legs pushing off the ground in tuck jumps, to your arms controlling the jump rope, and your core stabilizing each movement, these activities ensure a comprehensive workout. Through our workout today, it's clear that these movements engage the entire body, making for an effective and efficient workout that improves overall fitness and strength. Full body workouts prepare you for all kinds of sports and everyday stuff, like playing soccer, basketball, swimming, or even just carrying your backpack. They help make every part of you strong and flexible, so jumping into any game or activity is super easy. Now let's jump into Just Move with Justin, where moving and having fun go hand in hand. Thanks, Coach Chloe. Awesome workout. Justin here, and today we're diving into why full body exercises are your secret weapon for almost everything, from sports to daily tasks. Ever wonder why it's important to keep your whole body strong? Working out just one part of your body can make it stronger, but doing exercises that use your whole body is even better because it helps all your muscles grow evenly, makes you fitter, and gives you more strength for everyday activities. Let's fully explore how. <laughs> First up, we've got martial arts. It's not just about the punches and kicks, it's about balance, flexibility, and power. Full body workouts improve your stance, strikes, and blocks. Think about it. How could stronger legs and arms help you in martial arts? Exactly. They make your movements more powerful and controlled without losing your balance. Next, imagine rowing a boat. Which muscles do you think you'd feel working? Definitely arms, but they aren't the only muscles helping you. Your legs, back, shoulders, and core all help drive the boat forward. Stronger muscles mean more powerful strokes and increased endurance. How about cheerleading? It's all about strength, flexibility, and stamina. From performing flips to lifting teammates, a solid core and leg strength are crucial. What do you think is the most challenging part of a cheer routine? Nice thinking. Executing those high-flying stunts safely relies on full body strength. Whether it's you in the air or on the ground helping to catch a teammate, full body strength helps keep you safe and in control. Helping around the house might seem mundane, but it's real life strength training. Can you think of a chore that doubles as a workout? That's right, activities like vacuuming or lifting groceries are easier with a bit of muscle. Have you ever been asked to help carry groceries from the car and try loading up all the bags so you only have to take one trip? Wow, that is a workout in itself. Plus, it's a great way to help out your family and get moving. Rock climbing, anyone? This isn't just about pulling yourself up, it's about strategy, balance, and endurance. Your arms pull, your legs push, and your core keeps you stable. Imagine how a full body workout can improve your climbing skills. Exactly. By increasing your grip strength, endurance, and flexibility, you make each climb a bit smoother and a little less rocky. <laughs> and yes, even bowling benefits from full body fitness. Have you ever tried it? Throwing a bowling ball is kind of like a kettlebell swing. A strong stance and the power behind your throw can improve with muscle strength. Ever thought about how you keep your balance when bowling? It's all about your muscles keeping you steady and controlled, ensuring your ball hits its target every time. Wow, I am bowled over by the variety of activities requiring full body strength. And these activities aren't just fun, they're fantastic stress busters. Finding joy in being active is about feeling good physically and mentally. So no matter the activity, remember, Full body exercises help you perform better and have more fun. Maybe you'll discover a new hobby that keeps you moving and helps manage stress. Now let's check in with Caroline in the locker room lowdown. Wow, thanks Justin. What a journey we have been on today. 
Remember how we started with me feeling all tangled up in stress? It's amazing what a difference some movement and laughter can make. Whether it's through stretching, deep breathing, or finding that one activity that brings us joy, we have the power to calm our minds and soothe our bodies. So let's keep moving, keep exploring what makes us feel good, and remember, it's okay to reach out when things get too heavy. We're not alone in this. Together with friends like Mia, Coach Chloe, Justin, and B, we can tackle anything with a smile and a stretch. This is Ready, Sweat, Go, signing off.